Hi, it's Paul Browning from HowToNetwork.net. I'm going to give you a free lab to study now for the CCNA exam. Also, can be useful for the CCENT. So, if you come to HowToNetwork.net, 101 CCNA labs. Click on the icon. If you haven't read all this stuff before, just please have a read. It explains how the how the free labs work and how to access the videos if you want to access the videos. So these are the actual challenge parts and there's something you really do need to know for the exam. I'm not saying you'll be tested on it but it's something that could, could well come up. Um, configuring Lab 7, configuring Spanning Tree Root Bridges manually. So this is basically you get to decide which is going to be the root bridge on your network and this is quite an important skill. So if you click on Lab 7 and when it opens up you can click on the printer friendly format and you can see a nice picture of the topology that we want you to use and the four tasks. Welcome to lab 7. Very important lab this. It's, uh, you're going to deal with a classic CCNA exam scenario. Um, it looks like we've got all our VLANs configured and named on this lab so I've basically gone through all of the steps that you've learned in the other labs. Type to show VTP status switch to is transparent and the VTP domain name is set up. Not really much point in repeating over and over the steps that you've learned in the other labs. So show spanning tree VLAN 2010 this is on switch 2 and switch 2 is the route for VLAN 2010. For 2020 this is the same again and um, if memory serves it's the same for the, all the VLANs. What we want to do is hard set the switches so that switch 1 is the route um, for two of the VLANs and uh, it's a really important command we're going to be covering here very important that you do this lab over quite a few times and maybe even write down the command a few times as well so on switch one we can see it's not the route and the priority is 34778 for VLAN 2010 alright so we're going into configuration mode spanning dash tree VLAN 2010 and then the word priority. I've typed a question mark here just so you can see, but basically priority is increment in 4096. So it has to be an increment um, or the number 4096. For the purposes of the lab, I'm going to choose 8192. So if you're just watching this lab and not configuring it, that's fine, but I really do encourage you to um, to get access to some switches. You can come to howtonetwork.net if you uh, wish. There's a link to the racks on there. Okay, so I've changed the priority now for VLAN 20. VLAN 30. Do the same for um, VLAN 40 as well. Alright, so we can see our VLANs here. Root cost has gone down to zero. Now I've, co I've configured this slightly different for the video as compared to the um, lab book. In the lab book, I think you put two of the VLANs, um, the root is switch one, and two of them are for switch two. Show spanning tree uh, VLAN 2010 shows that this bridge is now the root for that VLAN. Like I said, on the uh, lab guide, you can you can 
choose which VLANs, um, which uh, bridges that you want to be the route. I just wanted to show you the command for this lab. Okay, and that's the end of the lab. Thanks for watching.